What's going on guys, Zephanie? See, I'm sorry I'm using a bad webcam right now. I had to do this one because I just wanted to do it before my son woke up. Um, I wanted to reply to this one guy who just made these crazy things. Now, basically, he was trying to, um, he did a video called, um, hold on, make sure I figure out what it's called. It's called, Why WoW is Better Than the Old Republic, a Star Wars The Old Republic Review. And I started dying. I was like, okay. Now, first, I was going to look at it. I was actually looking at it from a perspective. I was like, okay, well, let me see. And this guy was so dead serious. Now, first of all, <laughs> first of all, he started off by saying he woke up at 2 p.m. in the morning. 2 p.m., dude. Like, what kind of life does one have where he has the ability to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning? Seriously, I wish I could wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning back when I was, I don't even know. Anyway, so he was like, um... He basically said that he was on WoW and how and how everyone was talking about WoW. I mean, how everyone was talking about um, Star Wars: The Old Republic. He was on uh, um, WoW all the time. Everyone's constantly talking about it in his party chat, in his guild chat, in the battlegrounds. If everyone is talking about this game, if this game is creating some a lot of momentum and even in its rival game, that automatically goes to tell you, well, damn, dude, maybe this game got something going on with it. But then he says uh, this. He says if you kill the um. He said that he killed the first boss. Like, he said that they weren't talking about the new stuff or the cool stuff that World of Warcraft had. For example, the new raid where um, you can actually kill the boss. And he said that he killed the boss in the first day. Dude, if you killed the boss in the first day in the raid, it wasn't a very good raid. You know, it wasn't a very good raid at all. You know, then he also mentioned that the other, other thing that they had was, an, um, was a device that allows you to change your armor to make it look like any other armor that you currently have or had. Um... That device is actually already in EverQuest as well as DC Universe Online. It has been there for quite a while. In fact, it was in DC Universe Online at launch. Actually, at beta. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. That's not a new idea at all. Um, let's see. So, question. How is WoW the best game ever if it's taking ideas from older games? And literally just taking them. Not even modifying them. Just taking them. Um, you also said that you wanted to... Um, that you had a, a that you were actually that you played the beta or whatever. How did you play the beta? The beta's over with, dude. The beta is done. It's been done. But all right, whatever. I don't really know, so I'll let it go. Anyway, so he said he had four problems. Okay, he said number one, what is the old republic? He said that um he watched the original and then the ones came before that and that didn't make any sense to him. It's called a prequel, son. A prequel is when something is like they tell one story, and then a prequel is a story that they tell that's before the original story. Look it up. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. What else? Look it up. Go to school, son. Stop playing World of Warcraft. Get yourself an education. Because prequels, actually, I learned that from school. Third grade, actually. Um, as he said, his problem was that the Old Republic took took place way back in the Stone Age, you know, where they had apparently flying cars, lightsabers, laser guns. But it's in the Stone Age, you know. Opposed to World of Warcraft, which has magic, um, stone guns, and swords, and castles. Yeah, you know, definitely, definitely Stone Age, you know. Uh, so he said, he said, now he said this. I love this part. I just died when I said this part. He said, who really wants to play a Star Wars game that doesn't have C-3PO and Jar Jar Binks in it. Well, funny thing. Two things with that. Number one, no one really cares about C-3PO, dude. Seriously. He's alright. He's an icon, but no one really cares about the play the game if he's not in there. But that being said, uh, funny thing about it is that, number one, the original Star Wars, um, me, the original Star Wars MMO, um, Shimmy, the Old Republic game currently has more pre-orders than the original Star Wars game had a uh, maximum, um, maximum accounts so actually yeah it looks like people want to play Star Wars The Old Republic more than they want to play that actual Star Wars um, MMO which by the way ironically enough since you said who wants to play a game with C-3PO in it that one actually is being cut down that was actually being destroyed I just want to tell you that so obviously you're wrong <laughs> a lot of people want to play games without C-3PO also there's a character in the new Star Wars The Old Republic called A-3PO who is actually the older model of C-3PO and the funny thing is that the guy who does the voice of C-3PO actually does the voice of A-3PO in the game so technically C-3PO actually is kind of in the game that's number one and number two nobody even like Jar Jar Binks in the movie why would they like him in a game 
if they didn't like him in the movie. Really? <laughs> Dude, like seriously, I'm like, oh my god, this is so awful. Uh, what else does he says? He says he um oh he said it would be cool to see Darth Vader pistol with a child. So he thinks that would be cool. Yet he wants to play WoW, which is actually designed for younger audiences than Star Wars: The Old Republic is. But he wants to see a pistol with him. Anyway, just keep going. Like seriously, like it's like beating a dead horse after this. Um. His second problem is that he couldn't. Oh, let me see. He did now. He said his second problem, which by the way wasn't the second problem. Obviously, he can't count, but he's at home playing World of Warcraft and not actually at school. But whatever. Um, he said that his problem was the game was too big to download, which is funny because World of Warcraft is actually larger than uh this game right here. But okay. Then he, his no, his next problem is is that um he wanted to know what was in those twenty gigs, uh, and it doesn't make sense. Actually, if you played the game, you would know that Star Wars The Old Republic actually has every single character voiced. Literally every single character voiced that um, that has a quest or don't have a quest. You know, anyone who responds anyway. So, long story short, audio files is where uh, all that's going. You know, I just wanted to let you know that. Um, oh, also the ability to fly a spaceship, also the, uh, multiple planets. Just wanted to let that know. Anyway, let's see. So, now he says that... Um, he heard that WoW stole ideas from everyone. His example was the Authenticator. Now, I didn't know what the Authenticator was at first, but then he turns around and says, so when he loaded up the beta, um, the first thing that he saw after he put in the name and password was the Authenticator. Excuse me. Well, wait a minute. So that's what you're talking about? Now, mind you guys, the Authenticator is this. Um, who was your first, um, who was your first um, pet? Now, funny thing is that um, I've had to put that, I've used that same authenticator in, uh, Hotmail for, since 2001. So, what are you talking about? How did they steal that idea from World of Warcraft if that idea was already created to begin with? Really? Anyway, keep going, man. He also says that, uh, oh, his next, his next issue, I love this one. He said that WoW has, um, what makes WoW better than Star Wars The Old Republic is the fact that WoW has a bigger play button than Star Wars The Old Republic. Then his next issue was that the exit button was bigger than the play... I'm assuming the exit button was the same size as the play button. Really, dude? Like, really? <laughs> like, that's your best shot? Like, I don't even understand that. Like, I'm seriously trying to understand it, and I don't. Last thing he said was that he said he said WoW stole um he said he said that Star Wars the Republic stole everything from WoW and he actually um and which is funny because WoW doesn't have an exit button you know I'm just saying so long story short dude I watched your entire video it was painful but I watched your entire video all for not you showed nothing you know I look forward to I think I will go ahead and eh, never mind quite frankly dude um. You need to go get. I hate to say this because, damn son, like <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you anymore. I don't. I don't. I don't. I never met someone who actually had like. And he goes. He says like, oh, um, I had to change my channel because I have so many trolls just trolling me, dude. The reason why they trolling you because you stupid. You too easy. Like seriously, every single point that you made, I just pretty much smashed. But don't get it twisted. They were retarded to begin with. Your every single point that you did was dumb as fuck. You know, seriously. Yet I was able to go ahead and count. I just I, I pretty much just um canceled them out and, and encountered them just pretty much just because I could. And plus I want to school you a little bit. Yeah, you was officially educated. I hate to break it to you, but World of Warcraft is by no means original. In fact, let me just hit you up right in this video. Well, do you know where Warcraft, World of Warcraft came from? It came from the original Warcraft, of course. But where did the original Warcraft come from? Well, I'll actually tell you. There was a game out there called Warhammer. And Warhammer was actually the original premise for Warcraft. You didn't know that, did you? I have a feeling you didn't. So, yeah. World of Warcraft copied from other things. You gotta have a good night. Zep out.